I stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line disgraceful yes you look like you can take a beating Blunt force trauma specialist. I might have a job for you. Ah, a blunt force trauma specialist. I might have a job for you. You are going to paint this system red, my friend. You had a hand in everyone's pocket. If we're ever captured, I'll let you do the talking. You were going to help us drown our sorrows. last, a kindred spirit. Physician, not many of you left.
Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Likely bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head.
squashing thing. Nasty way to go. for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, look. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help.
better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna.
before you get yourself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gull on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. You think? Most marauders can't even talk. The criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Intruders are not authorized to access... Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Preparing to eject all foreign parties in five, four, three, 
You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. I understand. You are going undercover with an alias. I will update my discretion protocol accordingly. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report.
Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. The war! The coming apocalypse! Man versus machine! I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Go on. I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing... I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans, mostly, some spaces chaw, few bit cards. 
I'll reward you for your aid. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the Resistance a bad name. They have sent a scout, prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. Searching for repair bay, error, navigation systems failed, unable to comply. Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay, error, navigation systems failed. Navigation systems have determined this location as Spacer's choice. Designated mechanical repair bay. Attempting to misdirect or confuse a Spacer's choice mechanical. Reminder, this unit is worth more than your entire extended family.
Bring us honor, soldier. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one, and the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer, a weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. On the double, soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. I wonder if the plague's ever gonna pass. Another day at the cannery. You read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our own. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, the cannery could use those extra hands. What we can do about that? Yeah, there is. We can have another zero G. Bring us honor, soldier. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Fun. This ain't some quarterly performance review, soldier. Ours is a grave and sacred duty. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. 
Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero-G to your memory. 